I'm sorry. I gave this a bad review. Welcome back, Don and Donets. Darren here from TFD once again. And today we have a new release which came out in May this year. So while we was in lockdown, not many fragrances were getting released because obviously people couldn't smell them or get to test them and stuff. So it was a bit brave, but yeah, there's been quite a few reviews on this. So I thought I'd give my own personal take. And yeah, Berlin lit, uh, Berlin Ideal Extreme. Sort of a nice kind of reddish kind of colour. Now this has almond, pink pepper, bergamot, cinnamon, plum and heliotrope. You can definitely smell the plum. Now when I got it, at first I wasn't really bowled over. I was a bit it's nice but it's nothing spectacular but as it dries down you know you can smell the plum and the almond kind of mixing in and it does smell quite pleasant actually but it just wasn't initial spray the opening I wasn't like wow this is nice I was just like mm, it's okay but I haven't given it a full war wearing yet so I need to do that to get a test of the longevity and stuff but um, I mean I sprayed it on my skin yesterday and you know probably four four hours it kind of disappeared so maybe not as long as I'd like it but it, I don't know it, it's nice but it's not wowie but um, obviously girl and uh, my last review I did video um, cologne which was beautiful and I love that um, so this one I may have to get some I may have to get some more time on it but as of now it is nice you know like, you definitely smell the plum you can smell the almond the heliotrope they are blended well together um, but it just doesn't blow me away but you know time will tell maybe I'll do a later run of you once I get a good wearing out of it and a, a good testing but yeah, I'll definitely get a, a sample or um, smell it before you buy, I would suggest. But it is a sweet, sort of a, kind of a, not so fresh, but sort of citrusy. But it's a bit in the, in the middle. You know, it's got the almond, it's got the heliotrope. You know, it's got the pink pepper. So it's sort of a bit spicy, but not too spicy. I think it's blended well. It really is, but it just doesn't, I'm going to upload a video giving this a bad review but I've changed my mind this is why I need time to road test these aftershave because at the first sniff I just thought mm, no but now I've actually worn it and uh, my friend just passed by I said damn what are you wearing it smells really nice and also another colleague smelled it today as well and they said it's nice and then upon wearing it it's, I've grown to quite like it now. It's a bit spice bomby, but maybe a bit more quality. So, Ideal Extreme, I apologize, Gerland. This is actually quite nice. So, even though I'm going to upload the review giving it a, a thumbs down, but I've changed my mind and I'm giving you a thumbs up. So, that's Lom Ideal Extreme. Like Gerland. Yeah. After a wearing, thumbs up. 